Okay, well, my name is Jenny. And my name is Jeremy. And we're writing consultants here at the Writing Center. Um, and we're going to take a little time today, not too long, just to talk about some citation guidelines and rules. And uh, I have some of these like little quick reference sheets to pass around just so you can kind of look at it while um, we're going through. And there's MLA and APA. Thank you. There, I need to get them redone really bad. <laughs> no problem. Okay, before we get into the nitty gritty of doing citations, um, it's good to know why do we need to use citations. <laughs> um, when consulting any type of outside information in your papers, um, it's crucial that you cite your sources. Um, it allows for the reader to locate the information that you used in your paper. It um, gives you credibility as a writer, and it also prevents you from plagiarism, which is a big no-no. <laughs> All right, what is plagiarism? Okay, um, plagiarism, it can be defined as um, using another person's work without giving them credit. Um, and Georgia Southwestern have a policy on this, and it states that, you know, it's a violation of the academic honesty to uh, submit plagiarized work. And plagiarism includes, but it's not limited to, Asking to write part or all of someone's assignment, uh, copying someone else's work, it can be published or unpublished, inadequately documenting research. Um, you can also um, plagiarism, and also consider downloading material from electronic sources without the uh, approval, um, appropriate documentation, or representing others' work or ideas as the student own. All right, the student is responsible for understanding the legitimate and accurate use of sources the appropriate ways of acknowledging and citing academic, scholarly, or creative in-depthness, and the consequences of violating this responsibility. Moral of the story, just don't do don't it. Don't plagiarize. <laughs> don't do it. If it's not sure, don't do it. <laughs> OK. Um, here are a couple citation styles. These are two that we're going to go over today, APA and MLA. Um, there's also Chicago style. But um, since we don't see that too much here, we're not going into it. So APA is. Uh, stands for American Psychological Association. It's authority that's used in the social sciences as well as natural sciences. And um, generally you see APA used with psychology, sociology, education, economics, business, and nursing. MLA, which is Modern Language Association, it's the authority that is used by the disciplines in the humanities and you'll definitely see it you know, in any English class that you take. All right, um, information needed for a citation. These are some um, things for a citation. Um, books need the author, the title, the publisher, the place of publication, and the date. And if you're doing articles, you need the author, the title of the article, the name of the journal, and the issue information. OK, now we get to the fun part. <laughs> How to create your citations APA format. Um, if you're doing a periodical with one author, which would be like you know your scholarly journals, anything like that, um, which is usually you know what you see mostly. You're going to start with the author's name, which is last name first, and then the initials, um, the year in parentheses, followed by a period, the title of the article, the title of periodical, and that's italicized. Then you have the volume number, which is also italicized. Now I always forget that part. The issue number, which is in parentheses, followed by a comma. Then you have whatever page numbers, if there are page numbers, and then your DOI, which is digital object identifier, which is like the list of numbers that helps identify the piece, if it's available. You know, sometimes it's not. Um, if you're doing an entire book, print version, which I prefer because it's way easier to cite, um, you just start with author's name, same format, last name first, and then initials, um, year in parentheses, followed by a period. This time the title of the work is going to be italicized. Then the location of the publisher, followed by a colon, and then the publisher, followed by a period. And then if you're doing a non-periodical web document, web page report, so it's be just like a website or something like that, um, you're going to do the author's name in the same format if there is author, and then year in parentheses followed by period, the title of the document, and then retrieve from whatever address that you got it from. And um, if you're doing a periodical with multiple authors, um, I just included this because it can be kind of confusing. You're going to do the author's name followed by the 
first initial, middle initial, then a comma, and then you follow the same format. Other things to remember about APA. Um, papers in APA should be double spaced, have one inch margins on all sides, be in Times New Roman size 12 font. Um, it typically includes four sections, a title page, an abstract, main body, and references. And oftentimes, um, you know, you won't see this in APA papers depending on what kind of paper you're writing. But, you know, it's good to have a, it in mind anyway. Your periodical titles and book titles are italicized. And only the first word of a title, proper nouns, or the first word following a colon is capitalized when you're doing your, your title or, um, or a periodical title, whatever that is. And then when you're doing the author's name, like I said earlier, it's last name followed by first initial and then middle initial. Okay, on to uh, MLA. How to cite citation. Um, if you're using an article in a scholarly journal, you want to do the author's name, um, the last name first, and then um, the first name. In parentheses, I mean quotation, the title of the article, um, period, the year, colon, the page's number, period, the medium of publication. And if you're doing periodical publication in an online database, you want to include the author's name with a period, the title of the work, period, italicize the title of the database, the medium of publication consulted, and the date of access. If you're doing a, a book by a single author, you will have the author's name in the same format, um, the title of the book in italicized, the place of publication, colon, publisher, year, and medium. Okay, if you're doing the work in the anthology, you will have the author's name and in quotation mark, the title of the work, the title of the anthology, and the editor's name, period, the place of publication, colon, publisher, comma, year, and the medium. And some other things you want to remember about MLA. Um, paper to MLA, they should be double spaced with one inch margins on all sides and times new Roman with 12 font size. It tells us titles um, includes like books, plays, um, poems in the books, different pamphlets, uh, newspapers, and list goes on and on. You can see some <laughs> right there. All right, um, titles and quotation marks includes journal articles, magazine articles, encyclopedia articles, and essays, and short stories, and poems, and chapters in the book, et cetera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, we also want to go over when you have in-text citations. Um, citations within the text of a paper, they can come at the end of the sentence, or they can be incorporated into the sentence. Um, for APA, these citations will include the author's last name, followed by a comma, and then the year of publication. So um, if you wanted to use, if you wanted to just have it at the end of the sentence, you would start a sentence and say something like, um, research shows that nine out of 10 students find workshop citations super lame. <laughs> Quote, like in parentheses, Smith, comma, 2001. And if you wanted to incorporate the last name into a sentence, then you would just say Smith, and then parentheses 2001 found so and so and so and so and usually that's that's preferred by professors because it's you know integrated into your paper yes all right citation within the test MLA all right the citation within the test of paper um, it should come at the end of the sentence and place in parentheses um, before the period for MLA these citation will include the author's last name and the page number where the information is located if you mention the author's name within the sentence, you, you only need to include the page number at the end of the sentence. So if you, uh, example is Piper 124, but if you say Piper at, at the beginning, you don't need to um, put that, just put the page number at the end. Okay, citations at the end of a paper in APA format. Um, the compiled list of citations in APA <coughs> format that you use at the end of the paper is referred to as your reference list. And when you do that, um, basically you're just going to have a separate sheet that's entitled References Centered at the top of the page. Um, the, the page should be listed in alphabetical order based on the author's last name. And if the citation takes up more than one line, then you use a hanging indent and the second line is indented. All right, citation at the end of a paper for MLA. The compiled list of citation for a paper in MLA format is called the word cited. Um, the citation, they should be listed on the page in alphabetical order. 
All right, if one citation takes up more than one line, on um, the second line is indented. It. Okay, um, we're gonna take you and show you a couple of places that you can go to get additional help when you use it. Like, um, you know, we work in the Writing Center and yes. we still use these whenever we <laughs> cite sources. You know, it's, yeah, they're good to those. have. Um, I really recommend Writer's Reference. This is an excellent um, source to use and you know, you can just look at it and make sure your stuff's in the correct format and go through it. Yes. Um, we also, here we have um, for Chicago, if anybody, <laughs> you know, wants to tackle that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then an also another, like, really good source that we use all the time is the um, online Purdue Owl Writing Center lab. And, oh, I don't know if I'm doing this right. I think it should come up. Yeah. yeah. And this is the only... Uh, writing center uh, online approved <laughs> source. No. <laughs> <laughs> they, they will mess you up. They will mess you up, I tell you. Because, um, like, Purdue Owl, you know, it's educational and it's, it's constantly updated. But Easy Build, they, they'll probably give you, mess you up, like, with some of the different um, technical features of um, doing the work cited or your reference page. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so I just like went to the page and then went to the MLA. And I mean, it has tons of information. Anything that, no matter what you're citing, anything that you're interested in citing, it'll tell you exactly how to do it. And it's always correct. And it's just, it's really good to use. And it's a really good resource for every stage of the writing. Really? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, is it like if you um, brainstorming, give you some um, brainstorming tactics and thesis or whatever you need? Yeah. And also, you can come see us, you know, if you <laughs> ever want help citing your sources. We're kind of cool, and we really like working with people on that kind of stuff. And then if you have, like, a specific question or just another good source to go to is to email your professor, because, you know, they can tell you exactly what they want right. and, and be there to help you. Yes. <sighs> That's our work cited page. I don't know if it's correct, so don't look at it. <laughs> and now, super we fun and exciting citing citation, citation activity. activity. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let me see yeah. how we're going to divide these up. So I want all of them to have something different to work on. No frab. So we got it. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Um, basically, it's just jumbled and you all got to put the order. pieces together. <laughs> 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 you can do it. <laughs> Wait. Do you want APA? Or do you want MLA? That was, If it says APA, then oh, APA. Oh no, it's cool. Yeah. Oh, Yeah. I wasn't creeping, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I felt bad. She got the really hard one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes. Um, okay, so you know, like when you use like it's all and stuff like that. Let's oh, okay, yeah. Like, okay, if you like, okay, how many people do you, do you list until like you have to use that? I believe you list six. six. If it's seven, then you use yes. at all. Yes. Yeah, so. Uh, so what if like, so if I didn't know that and I just said all the names, like, is that wrong or do I have to use? It depends on how specific your professor is. Uh -huh. okay. Like generally, I I don't, I don't know if you'd get you know, points taken off for it, but. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we ready to see the answers? Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Go ahead, the APA book. Okay. Okay, the book. Does that look okay? It's a matchup with what you have? You're like a pro. <laughs> MLA book citation. Someone have that one? Anybody? Said you didn't have that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see, see, I see There's you. There's no I judgment see, here. <laughs> I see how you looking. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> did, did you get the surgery? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of a fun activity, right? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. fun. <laughs> 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 Anyone have the MLA scholarly, scholarly journal? Um, that was a tough one. <laughs> yeah. Steve, sorry. Does it look good? <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Well, that was as much as we were going to torture you guys. <laughs> but um, do you guys cool, cool do you guys have any like comments questions. or questions or? It, yeah, th that also depends on what kind of paper you're writing. Mm -hmm. it, generally, with, with if it's like psychology or, or you know something like that, you don't want to say I. You want to have like be separate from it and take like a I don't know like step back, step back yes. from it yeah. and kind of just just give the information. <laughs> yeah, no judgment, yeah. no no, no bias or opinion. So right. generally, mm -hmm. if it's an opinion paper, then yeah, yeah. it's different. Yeah. All right. A any other questions? <laughs> okay. I think, I think you got it. Um, we have like a little <laughs> citation survey. It's completely anonymous since there's so many of you guys here. <laughs> <laughs> we will never know.
you guys find this to be helpful? I know you did the survey, but I'm just curious, like. Yeah, not really. Okay. Yeah, especially with the, like, the tell size and things. Like, yeah. I usually just put it all just there. I didn't really know about all that stuff, so. I just wrote stuff and it came in. Yeah, and it was all right. And then, okay. too, y'all used, I used to cheat, but I used to use, I guess, like, when you get Word 2000. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Do you have suggestions? Is there anything that we didn't cover that you right. like want to? Style, style, like go more into detail about it. Okay. Thank right. you. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll incorporate that next time. So you should come to the That's next good. next one we have. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thank yes. you guys so much for coming. Right, thank you for coming.